At the end of 2022, I decided to leave Miami and become a passport bro for 15 months. I just got out of a long-term relationship and wanted to see what it's like to date beautiful women from all around the world. I went to Medellin, Colombia, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Lima, Peru, Quito, Ecuador, Tulum, Mexico. I went to Barcelona, Spain, Madrid, Spain, Belgrade, Serbia, Budapest, Hungary, and even a few other cities. Now, during my travels, my dating strategy was really simple. I didn't use dating apps and I fully focused on cold approach. Anytime I would see a beautiful girl that I wanted to talk to, I would walk over, start a conversation, and if we connected, I would grab her Instagram or her phone number and hopefully see her later that night or another day. And during my travels, I approached over a thousand women and went on over 100 dates. And there was four main lessons that I learned during my 15 months of being a passport pro. Now, the first lesson is that there is a universal language of attraction. And that language is energy. So the same energy that's attractive in Miami, in New York, in LA, is also attractive in Europe, or in Asia, or in South America. And I saw this happen over and over and over again, right? And even in situations where you and the girl that you're talking to have zero language in common, you speak one language, she speaks another language, if your energy is attractive, she will still be interested in you. And I saw this happen quite a bit when I went to Serbia or when I went to Hungary. I don't speak their languages, but because my energy was on point, because I projected confidence, groundedness, assertiveness, I was still able to connect with women in those countries and in those situations. So neediness, insecurity, reactivity is going to be unattractive everywhere and it's going to be sensed by women everywhere that you go, which leads to my next lesson, which is that women are a mirror. So what I found is that women will always mirror back to you who you're showing up as in the moment. If you're showing up as confident and masculine and grounded and attractive, they're going to be reflecting that same interest back to you, right? If you show up as needy and insecure and unsure of yourself, they're also going to be reflecting that back to you. Now, when women say things like, sorry, I have a boyfriend or sorry, I'm lesbian or sorry, I'm just not looking to date right now. What they're really saying is that the way you're showing up right now is not attractive. Of course, there are situations where women are just not available emotionally, but 90% of the time, if you're out and you're meeting women and you're not getting the reactions you want, you're getting rejected again and again, it's because the energy that you're putting out there is causing them to reciprocate that back to you in the form of that mirror reflection. Now, the third lesson is that women in South America and in Europe are more traditional, more feminine, and more submissive than the women in the US. I saw a really distinct difference. However, though, these women still need you to be showing up in an attractive, masculine, and confident way. So just because, yes, the women are a little bit more submissive, they are a little bit more feminine, they have less of a guard up, they're less defensive, it doesn't mean that you can just run away from your problems. You can be needy, you can be insecure, you can be a simp and a people pleaser and travel to Colombia or travel to Brazil or travel to Thailand and hope that that is going to solve your problems. It doesn't solve your problems. You still need to be showing up as an attractive and confident man. Now, the fourth lesson that I learned, and this is going to be a little bit more macro level, is that there is a huge energetic and spiritual shift happening right now in the dating market, not just in the US, but all over the world. And the shift is that men are becoming weaker and weaker on average, right? Testosterone levels are plummeting down and men are becoming soft, they're becoming feminine, and they're losing their masculine edge. And at the same time, women are becoming more and more intolerant of this needy, insecure, weak behavior. So what you're seeing is a small subset of men at the top that are getting all the women that are crushing it in their dating and sex lives while everybody else is struggling and picking up the crumbs, right? This is where you're seeing the whole trend of OnlyFans, of guys running away from the US hoping that becoming a passport pro will change their life where it absolutely won't. Sure, 
if you want to live in Brazil, you want to live in Colombia, you should. You should go travel, you should go do your thing, you should go explore. But you should absolutely not think that doing this is going to solve your deeper confidence and dating issues, because it won't. So, if you're watching this video and you're resonating with what I'm saying and you're realizing that you might be a guy that's struggling with actually approaching women, with connecting with them, with building that deep attraction with them, or maybe just with your own inner confidence and masculinity, what I invite you to do is click the link below, check out our documentary, apply for the accelerator, book in a call with me, and if we're a fit, we'll invite you to join our program.